Welcome to this week's reviews. Kenny Garg gets back with us. Welcome back, Kenny, after one week's sabbatical. Behave yourself. Um, to the, Smitty, welcome along. I'm back. I've never left. <laughs> yes. yes, the Wookiee's back and it's looking good. Our first cigar this afternoon is Romeo and Juliet Exhibition Number 4. Um, I used to love the R&J Exhibition Number 4. Um, a lot of cherry in them, some, some beautiful wood, some flagrant notes. Flagrant it's been fragrant. Yeah. <laughs> fragrant notes. I think since about 2003 they've gone backwards. The R&J Short Churchill, which again is a Robusto format, has taken so much of its thunder. It's almost a secondary cigar on the line. Mm. Let's hope that it comes back to to being a great one. If it doesn't, and I'm not, not I don't want to put a, a curse on this review, but if it doesn't, I want to get a a, a Lado 708 R&J Churchill, R&J uh, Short Churchill, and compare it to the similar time frame Romeo and Juliet Exhibition Number Four, and let's see if we can get two robustos in the same tasting. That's a tasting for another day. Okay, guys, let's light it up. What's the what's the what's the draw like? Uh, very much the box press. That's almost a square cigar. Really? Um, yeah, well, mine is. Have a look. That's square. That is for yours. That yes. is absolutely square. Yeah. Well, we got that out of another box. <laughs> it's very um, faint aroma. Yeah, very faint. I thought slightly branny. Good draw. Oh, geez, slightly fruity on the draw. Bloody dry. Yeah, mine's, that's the impression I'm getting. I'm expecting this to be a very dry sort of. Why is it dry? Oh, have you not humidored it well? It just it gives the impression of it. That, that's the dry. impression I'm getting. That's perfect. It's I'm not, I'm not a, well, it just it smells it's dry. dry. I, I respect your opinion. I mean, well, you couldn't say that's dry. No, it, 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 it feels dry in a sense. Yeah, it just there's something, something about this. There's, that's something a, there's a dry, dusty. Yeah, it's not a beautiful dry. dry that's what I'm expecting from it. It's just giving that impression. Are you going to sing? I'll turn up Springsteen. Please, let's get this. Let's, let's light her up. Slightly woody. Woody. Uh, yeah, I, I know exactly. It's a, it's, a, it's a sort of an old, old timber, mm. um, almost sawdust mm. type thing. Gritty earth. Um, Gritty earth. Pulling with that dusty, yeah. woody. Exactly. Well, I'm getting sort of a, a, a hard, bitter taste, which is making, I suspect, feel as though there's more to it than there is. Yeah. It's a very easy draw. Um, yeah, very, I've got to say. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going medium ish. It's got an acrid edge, hasn't it? It certainly has. One, I've just edge. sort of got that in the last yeah. draw, two. Yeah, no, she doesn't like being woken up at all. Let's not put a curse on it yet. We'll come back to you at the end of the first third. We actually might pitch this one early. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you brought then. a third cigar. <laughs> nice wine, Kenny. What's that? That's a little uh, um, Pinot Grigio from Italy. All right, let's get back to this cigar. <laughs> to Kenny Gargett first. Um, it's no worse. It's <laughs> brush out now. <laughs> no worse. Seriously, anyone got these in their humidor? Oh, make space for something else. It's very basic. It's It's got that sort of slightly earthy... Slightly hard, no complexity. It's occasionally you get a, a, sort of a little bit of a hint of rum and raisin sort of character that just flicks in and That's out. That's interesting. Yeah, it does. Uh, sort of dry timber. Uh, we were mentioning before sawdust, um, dustiness to it. Um, fairly one-dimensional cigar, as you said. It's the sort of thing that you'd have if you were just, you know. Uh, this uh, aspires uh, to be one-dimensional. Yeah. Mm. At the moment, you, you know, it um, <laughs> you wouldn't. You, you choose a Monty 4 over this any day of the week. Absolutely. It's piss poor, to be honest. Because I've had great exhibition number fours. I've just reveled in the richness and the and the fruitiness and, and all this. This is just such a shadow of what it should be. And in 2006, there's no excuse because it was a very good year for cigars out of Cuba, out of Havana. We'll go one more third. Because right now we may do the first ceremonial pitch of the Ken Gargit deck, because I don't think I could stomach too much of this. Aspiring to medium bodied, without a spine to achieve it. Maybe it could be a revelation, there may be a tremendous comeback. And I'll play for the Broncos next year too. Yeah, big chance, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, about as much chance. We'll see at the end of the next third. Sorry, Ken, what were you saying on that one there? Yeah. I, I was just saying, I, I, look, I still think it's pretty bog average, but it's just showing just a couple of less unpleasant notes that may be worth hanging in just for a little, another inch or so before we... There is a little bit turn. more intensity there yeah. and, and slight bit of complexity. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Just a little bit. Uh, actually, another, to be honest, I think I'm 
you're being, yeah, it's being nice to it. Emperor's I'm sorry, guys. I mean, Emperor's new clothes. I, I, I've had plenty of these. Yeah, fuck it off. Honestly, can, that's just can, awful. Can you take the wrappers off before you foul my yard? Sorry. You might. I apologise. But that was just such an awful example of the Romeo and Juliet ex exhibition number four. And part of the whole point of these review series is to just tell the truth. That was bad. Yeah. If it was a Guantanamera, we'd finish it. That's about the level. That's about the level it was. Yeah, it was, it was the level, level. the level of Guantanamera. Mm. And I don't smoke Guantanamera. I don't need a cigar to be exceptional to enjoy it. But I need, I need that cigar to be true to its mark. And, and that Romeo and Juliet exhibition number, number four embarrassed Romeo and Juliet. Out of 100, I'd rate that a 75. Oh, that's Jesus. Okay. No, I'd... I was given it 72. Oh, I was in the 60s. Oh. There you go. Uh, harsh man. But when something's bad, harsh chuck it. If, if you've got a bad cigar, what do you do? You, you throw it? I can't find another one. Yeah. Mm. It was very similar to a lot of R&J exhibition number four that I've had from 05 and 06. Cabin's been better than dress boxes. That was a dress box. It was say, pitiful. It's starting to get really hot as well, and that acrid stuff really coming back mm. in. It's mm. Mm. A do it, do it, Kenny. A uh, from July 06, actually April 06. Hang on, get back to There's my cheat sheet. I hate the way fucking. And you thought this was ad libbed. <laughs> I hate the way fucking he does this. Honestly. Boy, look, look at it. that. Look at that. It, what is that, a UPM? I'm serious, An mate. ENE? My download, you know, my mo Microsoft... ABR 86. MCS. 86. ABR, that is 86, isn't it? It says 86. But, okay, go. No. Minnie Smithy put these uh, these cheat sheet notes up, and let me tell you, Minnie Smithy, <laughs> I hope you go well at university. You always swap pants with your brother-in-law? No, 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 it's just apparently they still have the stains at, um, at the Foster's office. Pino Grigio from Italy. Um, Why is it empty? Because I opened it yesterday. <laughs> it tastes slightly oxidised. Seriously. Why don't you try the other half? What are you doing? Trying to burn your finger. Last time I seen someone <laughs> pump like that was Thomas the Tank. I mean, what? I noticed the one the other day, the Heritage Estate Chardonnay, which we drank out here on the deck. Huh? Did you? I didn't see Ayala in there, but I sure as fuck didn't see Smith either. Just a mention. We were, we were thrilled. What? Possible relevance? Did you? After I'd finished the tasting, you one got to try it. One of the world's great cigar reviewers tried the Heritage White and thought it was excellent. And that's what I said. No, I didn't you see the word it. cigar. <laughs> famous. That all came after. Oh, oh, they cut that bit, did they? No, that was the editor. Oh, do you reckon that went in? No, no I didn't no, see not it. Not really. The ash is okay, although it looks like a limp penis. I was thinking you must be familiar to you. Life's too short. Actually, there's a lot of smoke coming out from your garden. <laughs> oh, I just wondered what the hell you've done. <laughs> I don't see any money from me. You're the director. Money. You're the director. Yeah, I, surely I get some sort of cut out of all of this. <laughs> what happens every week? <laughs> what happens every week? I sit here, I bust my fucking ass. I get bagged about Wookiees. Wookiees and Wiggles. <laughs> oh, it's all over. He can, he can walk. <laughs> Fuck it! Fuck it, he's gone! It's actually not bad. Yeah, I just don't know about drinking sparkling out of a... Out of a Shiraz glass, you know? It's not a rocket.